butter. Mm-hmm. Mm, butter. Okay. <laughs> So funny What's the answer? because like right after it we just w- looked at podcast stuff i'm like dad look at how cool this is oh man this, this fucking kid he registered my new plate to her car <laughs> on accident and so we had just been trading this registration back and forth not understanding each other that she goes well go look at your car <laughs> Quickies <laughs> and <laughs> with whimsy. If they saw me coming in through the window, right. they'd be like, they'd be like, who the heck's coming in through my window? All right, so I think the moral of the story is you're not allowed to sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> We all love food, man. And it's weird. Take a second, think about why you like it. And then you realize like the only thing that's special about it was mom. Making- Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Chasing the Whimsy. I'm your host, Ben, and I'm here with Liam. How are you doing, Liam? Good. It's a big day. You know what today is? How many times have I said that? It's a big day. Uh, kind of a lot, but today is year one. The end of year one. By the time this thing releases, uh, let's see. Let's see what the first date was of the first episode. So, Because uh, I keep thinking that this is coming out on the 15th for the 15th and episode one was officially released on 712 and this episode will be the 15th so this will be our end of year one spectacular also if you guys like the the new um intro yeah, that was like interesting, that. right? Uh, so with it being end of year one, uh, Liam, you know, alluded to it with the opening. Uh, we're going to do a best of episode. Um, so, and then just to make it a little bit fun and exciting, he's flexing again, guys. Look at this beast. But uh, we're going to play some best of clips. And uh, whimsy baby, <laughs> Woot! look at this kid's all fired up. Uh, we're gonna to make it exciting. We got we're gonna do some scoring, so I got a couple of quite we have two different categories. We're gonna talk about uh, some of the special guests that we've had, and he's gonna earn some points that way. And then I got some best of clips. What are these? Uh, what. What's the point scoring system and how, what am I going to get for getting points? All right. So for the first round for the, uh, the special guests, you're going to have to name how many special guests we've had and how many episodes they've been on. So if you get the person and the number of episodes, correct one point. Okay. All right. Uh, there should be roughly 15 ish points available, but you're going to miss one. If you forget a guest. Okay, but then on the the second half, we're going to play the best of clips. Mm -hmm. The best of clips, the the, the caveat here, because I want to give you a little bit of a chance. I know that you haven't been here for all the episodes. I picked episodes that technically I already had uh, shorts for. Very few duplicates, but you need to get, where's my score, okay? We'll play a clip, 
You're going to get one point for knowing the n- the number of episode. You'll get one point for give me an, it is cl- give me an ish title of what the episode is. So if you're a little bit off, I'll give it to you. But if you're like don't know or you're way off, no good. Okay. And then I'll give you a third point if you can tell me what that episode was about. We're going to look to get to 50 points. So you get to 50 points. I will let you decide what the next token is that we have made. Okay. Um, if we have to make a new design, we have to make a new design. It is what it is. But I will give you pick of the next upcoming uh, merch that we have coming. Do you think you can handle that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you think I can do it. Um, now, to be fair, you don't listen to a lot of these episodes after. <laughs> so it's not like, one. <laughs> um, well, you can't say not one because we know that there's some sad dad episodes that you, <laughs> uh, that you, uh, you, you listen to parts of. Um, you can, in theory, there's a lot of points on the table here. But I'm not confident that you're going to be able to get to your 50. Um, those of you listening, by all means, grab a pen and paper, play. Let's see if you guys would get your 50. It's not as easy as you think it is. Nope. Um, how do you feel about year one? Now that we're wrapping up, we'll go some. We'll go deeper on the back end. We'll. Uh, with some shout outs for your one, but uh, first impressions, like how are you feeling that we, we've done this for a year? Pretty good. I mean, um, definitely I've been some ups and downs. I mean, I think we started off real strong and uh, towards the middle kind of got uh, just, like a little bumpy. Okay. So it's like, a, it was like we're on a road trip, you know, this is the first hour we start good. And then you're like, Oh, I got to pee. I got to get a snack. Right. Got to wrestle, you know, right. <laughs> um, and then I feel like we've, um, outside of maybe three or four episodes I've missed um, since maybe episode 50, I feel like we've done, we got some good stuff going on here. Uh, I definitely, I agree. I agree. Uh, ups and downs. Um, did you think I would have kept going or do you think I would have bailed out when you bailed out? I knew you love podcasting, no matter what it was. <laughs> so you were like, so you have to worry about me. You're just like he's just doing what he he's just doing his thing. Yeah. Uh, well, I always kept the seat warm for you. I always made sure everybody knew that you were around and coming back. Never got Training. rid of you. Yeah. Uh, well, and then there was the the technically we had the discussion that says I want to change the logo for the first year. So. Uh, oh, was that was that a hit? No, just hinting that uh, for a minute there I got a little salty and was going to take you off of the dual logo. <laughs> Just one orange hat guy. Um, all right, you ready to get you ready for this? I'm born ready. All right, everybody. Special guests, Liam, name me a special guest. You can probably it might be easier to go in order if you can remember who went where. But this is your 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 round. Tell me who you got. In order. Okay. You got. Rhiannon. Okay. How many episodes was she on? Rhiannon's been on three. Which ones? She's been on the, the original interview. Okay. She was on um, one with you, just you. Okay. That was recently. And then I th- think, she, was it, didn't she have one with you and Nikki? Mother's Day, yeah. Yeah, Mother's Day. Okay. That's all I got. Okay. So so that's those are the three points. Then episode names. No, no. Oh. Just the person and how many episodes. Okay, then. Right. Okay. I was just seeing if you remember to see if you can count them out because you're wrong. I am? She had four episodes. That first episode we broke up into two. And uh, what was it? Auntie McFoodie part one and part two. Okay. One where she talked about traveling and one about us being kids. Do I get any points? You got no points for that one. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Give me the next guest. Nikki. 
Okay, we'll go with Nikki. So you've had, yeah, for original interview. I don't think that was two parts. Okay. You have her Mother's Day one. Okay. There's one with just you and her. Because there was um, a teacher mom, I'm pretty sure it was called. Uh, yeah, something like uh, using her mom, her teacher's voice. That was the one I was on. Okay. She had her birthday episode okay. with you. So what is that? Mother's Day, original, birthday. So there's, I only have three right now. That would be three. You are correct. Yeah. Nikki was on three episodes. Those were her three episodes. Uh, episodes 12 and 14 were her birthday and then the mommy teacher voice. And then 52 was uh, Mother's Day. All right. You got your one point. 49 more to go. He's duck facing the camera here, guys. All right. Who else we got? Oh, okay. Just get some easy points real quick. Okay. Ming Chen. Okay. One. Okay. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A sh uh, episode 37, a shared universe. Okay. All right. Who else? Sandy. Okay. So we never posted open house. Ooh, that was a trick question. That was a good one. You caught that one. So she did record that day, right? Yes, we recorded with her and the twins. So we have her birthday episode because she walked in, we gave her a present. All right. And then is We're, it just one? Just one. Good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, next. Yep. JJ. JJ. How many episodes is JJ on? I was actually surprised with this number. You have the three Yellowstones. Okay. You have the one intro to Yellowstone. Okay. Birthday. Okay. My cousin JJ. Okay. Seven. Six. You need to go six? Yeah. It's actually four. Most of those, because all those Yellowstones piggybacked on his birthday and... You should that Okay. Yep. So no on the JJ. It's hard, too, uh, when you think about it, because you it's hard to remember what... Like, because we did a lot of uh, uh, Yellowstone talk, and then uh, technically I put out the CTW Presents... So those in account. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Okay. Give me some more. Megan. Oh, that's the hard one. All right. You have the my favorite cousin, right? My favorite twin. Okay. <laughs> uh, the two uh Christmas and Halloween. Okay. Robert Kurtzman. Okay. She's high. She's the highest one. Um she has the one con with just you two. Okay. She has, I remember there was a day, Ultimate Pickleball. Was she here for that one? Yes. Okay. And then she has more than this, I know. Um, How many, give me a number. <laughs> I get like, I think she's had more. So you, you counted like what six or seven? So how many more than six or seven did she have? Yeah, I'm gonna say nine. Well, you fucking lucked out, dude. Really? Yes. Okay, tell me. Can you tell me the, like the like the names? Uh, I don't have those. Uh, the ones that you missed. There was a pitch meeting. She did a pitch meeting with me. Uh, when oh. uh, when we discovered uh, Whimsy Gauntlet and Whimsy Nooners. She also did one more with me. Shit, I don't remember. I don't remember them all, but it was nine. Um, real quick, my apologies. I didn't mean to derail this thing. We're gonna go back to Rhiannon real quick, and then from now on, we'll we'll talk about the guests. What did you like about Rhiannon being on? 
Um, I just liked her bat, her passion of talking about certain stuff. I mean, we're we're trying to interview about her loads of stuff, and she just went on about food, and yeah. like, it was it was great because like she had passion about it, and um, kind of cool. This um, one of the main reasons we started was because I wanted to learn more stuff, and like I feel like I've learned a lot about these people just by these little interviews and little stories, like tying your mom up and or tying her up, her yeah. up and yeah just random stuff like that and like i said her passion and all the cool stuff she has from around the entire world you're right she's a globe trotter that's i knew she traveled but i didn't realize how often and frequently she did it um jj what do we give me some some feedback about jj year one he's uh what how old is he he was like what he was he's nine now right yeah. and we started off. He was eight. Um, he was just a kid. He had a, he had like uh, he had an idea, and um, I think it was really cool to have that idea come to life, right? Because I mean, I still think about it like kind of not like a lot, but like how he, excited he was when he got the Yellowstone map, You're right? Um, and we gave him a recorder, and he that's why we have the Yellowstone uh, twelve minute snippets of a mini i mean kind of just the creativity part about it is really cool i like how just like innocent and just like childish and like fearless with like certain things but he was just like he loved the second we mentioned we were podcasting he was in love with it he was just like i want to be famous oh he's like i want to do it uh, he keeps trying to get onto the live stream, but I'm like, I don't even know if I can even show your face yet. Um, but he absolutely loves the idea of talking and podcasting. I, so uh, I, it's just fun with that kind of energy that he brings to uh, his episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki. Uh, I could say passion for that too, because on her teacher episode, um, she loves to help people. I mean, um, she talked about with um, the special needs mm -hmm. department a lot and just like really caring. And uh, she's never not herself. Mm -hmm. She's like, she doesn't change herself for other people. And um, I feel like that runs in the family right. a lot. Um, but her drive, uh, being true to herself about everything. I mean, not being afraid to say something. Um, and just comfortable with who she is, too. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, you... I like how excited she gets when she thinks of anything nostalgic, like the macaroni in Sloppy Joe's. Um, the Mother's Day episode was was fun, where um, she, she, she has that that, that passion and, and that teacher side of her, but you can also get her into that like playful sister mode, which is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Ming Chen. Broken. He can tell a story. I mean, um, later this week, you'll hear it. Um, he just, if you get him talking about something, he'll talk about it for like, a while and he i mean it seems like everything he talks about he has something to say after it right like i like this and then he goes on about why he likes it and what's good about it and i feel like and it's just his care for other podcasters and like um how he treats other podcasters right uh definitely a mentor to us uh which is weird to, to think right to be like ming chen from comic book men view askew shared universe is like like we have like we we can we i literally text him uh you know every once in a while asking a couple of questions he did the logo for us um, i just love that he uh, like obviously family will support you um but he was the first person outside of family to be like you guys like it do it and i'm here if you need help uh, and hate hate to be like uh, like, a, like a spoiler but like um 
he he wants to meet us and podcast with us. Oh shit, we have to check dates for that. Yeah, uh-huh. and he's, I mean, yeah, he's just an all around great guy. I mean, yeah, Sandy. She's the nicest person in the world. She's so cool. Uh, I just think she's the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, really good for Nikki. Um, really great mom, and she's just just a really like just a generally nice and good person. So. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's really not, like I said, let's say that. I mean, she's, um, her message to herself and Nikki were kind of, kind of similar. Mm-hmm. And I mean, saying true to herself is, um, kind of related because they, they hang out like a lot. Right. So. Megan. Gosh, I hate everything about her. Right? <laughs> she <laughs> sucks. Um, no. Um, same thing about like Megan. I mean, she's just like, she can really just talk like about anything. I mean, if you start talking about cooking, she'll talk about cooking forever. You start talking about horror movies, she'll All start right. talking about that for forever. I mean, um, she's a great aunt to um, Sophie. Um, you know, we play right. video games like a lot. She's a lot of fun. I like the way that she interacts with you. Um, and I like when you're not here, I like what she, she helps bring to an episode with that slacking a little limb kind of helps me go from a sad dad episode to having a little bit of fun. So, um, dare I say we're friends? Maybe. Oh, uh, Megan, you'll have to double check and answer that. He's flexing again. That's trying to. Um, all right. Okay. Now that we got those out of the way, my apologies. We should have covered those as you went through. Give me another guest. Oh, uh, my easy one, Brian Johnson. Okay. What do we like about Brian Johnson? I'm going to give you that one. He's a given. <laughs> uh, well, I really liked that he was sick and that he decided to actually still come on. Nobody else from Walt Flanagan sometimes will do another podcast, but Brian Quinn, he, he, there's no way you're going to get that guy on a podcast anytime soon. Um, so they're not Mavericks like me, right? Uh, no, I I liked Brian Johnson a lot. Um, you got car- him off for a good like forty minutes, right? Yeah, you carried the episode. I was all like, I'm, like weirded out, but yeah. it was a good episode. He was a really nice guy. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Oh man. Uh, other grandma. Yep. One. How many? Oh, she she had two. One with her original one with the mundanes, and one with you. And her birthday. Just missed it. Just missed it. What do you think about that lady? She's the best. She's so fun. Mm-hmm. She's like. Like I hate to to say that one person is more supportive or ex- she's definitely excited about the new episodes and us podcasting. Yeah. Everybody's equally supportive, but she's like visibly excited when something new comes out. Oh yeah. I love it. Yeah. Like, every time. I mean, she's so much fun. Yeah. All right. Who else we got? I don't know. Can you tell me? <laughs> no, no. Oh, I can't. You can't do that. No, give me, give me some, hit the easy ones, hit all the winners. Who else did you have from 37? Oh, Jay Sarge. Okay. What do we think about that guy? Very interesting. I think he was... I, I think he... Did he start podcasting after us? Yeah. I think we got him into it. He did one other podcast with his kid years ago. Uh, he's just, He was just a nice guy. He seemed... Um, a little nervous, but he was fun. Um, I like his sense of humor. <laughs> he also did the theme music, so that's super awesome. But he's really kind of because uh, I email him a lot too with different idea projects, um, and he's all gung ho and he helps out where he can. Uh, so Jay Sarge is an awesome guy. Who else you got? We haven't had Kelly. We haven't had Courtney. Courtney. Uh... Okay, you keep you keep 
you're always one short because you keep forgetting a type of episode. So birthday what, episode. Okay. So birthday. That's not the same as her triumphant return. Or is it? Same one. Okay. Um, and then Courtney, Courtney Courtship and Pika Pika. All right. Three. You're good. Nailed it. I nailed that one. Uh, what do you think of Courtney? <laughs> <laughs> Does not change one bit for nobody. Not once for anybody. She she, she got pissy because I told her she swears too much. <laughs> and I was like, sorry. And I'm like, I don't really mind it, man. But because I swear a bunch, but she just... Um, you lay it back on the podcast. Yeah, but, like you don't cuss as much. Like right. I hear you playing Earthbound, and I'm right. like, what? Happened? Where's this other podcast? Right. Uh, but she's a big sport, and she likes coming on, and she's no filter. Uh, let's see, a little, a little, little nugget of some behind the scenes. Courtney had one of four episodes that I had to edit something completely out. <laughs> like she was a little too candid and a little too unfiltered. Uh, but yeah, I had to take about uh, a, a minute and a half story out of her episode just in case. All right. Give me who else we got. How many more guests? Uh, two, three, Four. There's another one -er. Oh, and actually, the next. There's two ones and one cheese. Two. Oh, shoot. I didn't even count that one. I didn't think you'd get cheese. Uh, who's cheese? Tetris re world record. Uh, he did have a world record for uh, high score for a minute. He has since lost that one. Uh, if you guys listened to his episode last week, I think he currently holds. Um, World record for speed run to a hundred lines and which one? Um, high score for level sixteen Stark. All right, I'll give you I'll give you a point for cheese. Okay. All right. Are you counting the whimsy with the Z? No. Okay. Um, you can tap out if you need to, but you're gonna lose a point for each of the ones that you leave missed. me alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, while you're thinking. Cheese was fantastic. He was probably the sweetest, nicest person I've ever met. Like, he was just... Besides Sandy. What... Like, he, he was 19, and just the, the love of the game of Tetris, and then the community was just... It, it, it was all the feels, and I love it. He was, he was a lot of fun to talk to. Am I missing an obvious one? You're missing two obvious ones. They're family. They have to be family then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got your two sisters. I got JJ. I got Sandy. Okay. I have other grandma. Yeah. Do they are they always at the dinners? I'm not saying. Okay. Um we got three more. And then one bonus. Not yeah, one bonusish question that I think would be funny because he asked about it the other day. One, two, three, this four, five, six, dinner. seven, um, eight. You're at eight points right now. If you tap out, you're gonna go minus three, and you'll have to go like I'll grip a points on the on the on the cards. Okay. Uh, uh, you're gonna feel so bad when you hear when you think of who you're missing because you already called it. Some family. He, he like talks. So there's right? So there's a lot of, you know, um, I can't wait until I get my mom on the on the podcast here one day. So, you know, maybe year two, mom, one episode. Um, Liam. Um, Are we counting Sophie? No. With her dad? No. No, she was not credited on an episode. Uh, it would be weird one day, I think, for year two to get my dad on. So I think uh, it'd be interesting to see what. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we have. 
so we have <laughs> stepdad um david okay he's been on two and then my mom one <laughs> I was wondering how long you like for a second. I was like, "Oh, this is just a bit," and I'm like, "Oh shoot, I don't think this is a bit." Cause you're like family. Are they at the dinners? I'm like, I don't know where you guys eat dinner. Oh, what do you think of those two people? Uh, I love them every day. I mean, they're mine. What about on the podcast? Very interesting. She said things I've never heard before. Uh, David was fantastic. Your mom was funny. Uh, I think it was just a fantastic episode to have them both on. Like when this when this first started, like it seemed a little lofty to be like, oh, let's get them two on. And like we threw we threw out the idea, and they were like, sure. And I was like, I was excited. It was uh, a big episode, I think, for me yeah. uh, to kind of uh, you know because they're always inviting us out to your wrestling and your baseball and everything. So I think it was nice. Uh, that they came down here, hung out with us for like like three hours, four hours that day. Yeah. All right. There's one more you're missing. I don't know if you're gonna re- if you're gonna remember it. Was Can I on the episode? You were. This one's not family though. This one is not family. Um. You originally didn't want to, but. You you did well. It was a decent one. It wasn't long. I think it was like 25 or just under 30 minutes. I'm thinking non-family. Non-family. Uh, we never did it with like Pogo friends. Um, nope. The 37s. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Who is it? Robert Kurtzman. Robert Kurtzman. Gosh, okay, that, a, one, that one was kind of hard. That one was gonna, I like. Um, if you went in order, kind of like the way you did, uh, when you started to, I think we got there. Robert Kurtzman was a really nice guy. Um, on the podcast, he was nice, but just in person, like he sat and talked to everybody who walked up. You need to talk to him for like as long as they wanted. Uh, super talented guy, he was a lot of fun. So, oh, I keep thinking about calling him back and asking for a second one. Because he said you'd, he he would podcast whenever he wanted when we, uh, whenever he wanted so. Uh, what I get twelve points. Eleven. Twelve. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Kurtz. Okay. Eleven points. Okay. Now here's a random bonus question. I don't expect you to even come close to. How many old man episodes are there? Okay. Now what is an old man episode for anybody listening? You by yourself. No guess, no nothing. No guess, no nothing. The old man nom nom. <laughs> okay. You have old man on New Year's. Okay. First whimsy, last whimsy. Those three. Those two. Okay. There's like, uh, I don't know. If I I'm, I'm, I'm give, out of the ballpark. Guess 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 or 15. <laughs> I think it was 15. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 episodes. That's not that bad. Two off. Yeah. 14 episodes. That's, a, that's 25%. How many episodes have I been on? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shoot. Um, 61 minus 14 minus the ones that Megan did with... Uh, you you're like, about half. You're, you're, you're over. You're, you're betting over fifty percent. You're, you're like you're like five fifty. Yeah. All right. So eleven points. That was kind of interesting. I liked uh, to acknowledge and thank all the special guests that uh, that came onto our show this year for year one. It was uh, it was a lot of fun, and I think everybody brought something exciting and fun and I uh, look forward to having most if not all of them back. Yeah. All right. I have an idea. Okay. There's, there's 26 of these things. So <laughs> and they're like 30 seconds each, but go ahead. Let's, let's do something. Okay. So okay. say you're going on a road trip. Okay. 
if you could choose five whimsy episodes to listen to, what would they be? Now, this is not going to be like we both get to choose one. It's going to be a, a draft scenario where I can I can only choose um, I can only choose one, and then like he can't choose the same one. Okay. So, so I'm picking episode two. Okay. Okay, boomer. Okay, so write it down. No, you write yours down, and I'm writing down number two. So this is kind of like a, a draft. Yes. All right. And can people comment who they thought picked the better five episodes? Sure. Now, what are the now when we're picking episodes? What are we thinking? You're on a road trip. Something entertaining. Something that'll keep you. Where are we going? Am I gonna have to repeat three of these? Like this episode three times? Is it like a nine hour drive or a twenty hour drive? You only have to listen to the episodes once. And that's your road trip. Okay. So like four and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh definitely gonna go with episode two. Okay. So now your pick. I'm doing my new best friend. You know the name of that the number of that episode? 16. 16. Ooh, look at this guy. He's got the numbers. Ah. Uh, Let's go over why we chose those ones. Uh, episode two is, was one, it had. Best belly laugh you've had on this dude, podcast. It was the first amazing laugh. I've, like, I've had several of them, but podcasting was already weird to begin with right this idea that mom and grandma were sitting here watching us talk to each other and then we're recording it and then inviting others to come and listen to it so like the like it's the nervousness isn't so much of the actual recording of it it's like that idea that 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 moment when you realize like you're letting other people from outside into your, your little world. Um, and by episode two, the fact that I had that much fun and didn't care. And then I hoped everybody will listen to it. Uh, that was my favorite episode. Uh, mine was like, kind of like a multiverse, multiverse madness. I mean, it feels like these two, like uh, two dads crossing paths and uh, listening to, you know, my stepdad, David talk, um, it's, kind of, it's just very it's very interesting and to hear what you had to say about the same things and i feel like you guys don't relate a lot but you related to a lot of things he said and it was it was like it was just very interesting and another thing i was thinking about last night it was the beginning of like the neglection because the first thing he started off the episode what you not do this week i said call, <laughs> call you it was the beginning of it and uh, oh were you upset because i kept calling you out yeah well, you should have told me. I would have stopped calling you out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Note okay. to self. Oh, well, uh, are we doing snake? Snake draft? Nope. Oh, one and one. Oh. One and one. Uh, just because it is probably, it's definitely up there. One of the tops. I'm gonna go uh, 52 for Mother's Day. Oh, okay, I hate to be so I like I hate to be like I didn't, I didn't listen to that episode. <laughs> Wasn't my mom. <laughs> the original plan was to have my mom on it, but oh, I know uh, it was it was it was a little weird weird time at the time. But uh, and and I've never minded. Uh, I think. Of all of the 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 solo dad episodes, I think of the fourteen of them, I think one I was irritated that you didn't you didn't record with me. <laughs> so you're gonna take me off the logo. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get it. Uh, you know, was I sad that you weren't hanging out? Sure, but I did. I knew that you would come back, and I knew you were busy uh, with with other stuff. So. Um, I try not to hold it too much against you. And if I made fun of it a little too much, you know, that's, uh, I have a habit of doing that. So I will refrain from uh, calling you out too much. Yeah, you, you still didn't tell me why, it was, why you chose it. So. Uh, it was a Mother's Day episode. It was so much fun. Me, Brandon, I, 
I feel like Mickey. that's how it should be, though. The, the three sis, like the, the, three, the three siblings. siblings yeah. Um, I definitely think what the, the original plan we had for Mother's Day, I think, will work for year two. Um, now that we got this one on the, on, on the books. Um, but I, it was it was fun, and it wasn't what we planned, but I think it worked out for the better uh, for year for the year one episode for Mother's Day. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Um, we don't have a lot of interactions between me, Rian, and, and Nikki. The three. Right. Big three. The big three. Uh, the holidays are always fun and nice, but it was fun just to just the three of us. And we haven't done that, oh, my God, in years. Years, just the three of us. It was always like someone else was there or at mom's or, or whatever. So um, I just think it was a, a fun episode for just the – the sisters and and me to hang out. I'm trying to see if I should take this one now or keep it in the vault. What do you got? I'm gonna take it now. Whimsy is strange. I mean, I think it's a fan. Oh, it's a fan favorite. Twenty um, seven. I get a lot of comments about that one, um, saying it's one of the best. And uh, usually, Whimsy is all happy family. That one wasn't. It got a little real reels. It did, and. Um, you need that. I think it was because it was part of the the original idea that while podcasting, it could lead to those uh, a little bit deeper conversations. And uh, I'm glad that you you were comfortable enough to, to dive down there with me. It was, it was a fun episode. It didn't start off that way. It definitely just started off as like uh, whimsy. Yeah, but. It was it was a good episode. It def- I like how it never and it never starts. It never goes the way that I want, but you always kind of end up taking us to a, a, a better place than what was originally the idea. That's usually what happens with these episodes. I mean, right. you and I have an idea, and then it kind of just goes off script when I when I'm on. Right. Um. I don't know. I think this one. I think this one's an important one. Episode 34, Old Man in the Kitchen. Um, I think that was the first live stream. Take it. Dude, that was so much fun. I had Kitchen in there. Um, th- dude, that was such a fun episode. Because we did a couple of live streams before that. But this one was, uh, I think the first one oh, we did for... Bad. Sorry. We, the first one I did for a podcast, like the CTW proper. Start writing it down. All right, what do you got? Liam on the run. Oh shit! 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 That was such a good episode. You know what? I, I said I I literally called out like you're gonna be bad. Oh man, that was so good. I mean, think about it. You're on a road trip. You're gonna want to hear a, like a, oh, a random story. That was like, like you came back. That was and that was like classic Liam. That was like that was my comeback, baby. Oh my gosh! Just look at Michael Jordan return to basketball. Oh, that was a good one. I think you forgot about it. I think you would have already took it. I think you would have chose that over. Oh, I would have. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Man, I got a variety. I got storytelling. I got serious. And then I got I got a fun game. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to pick one with Megan in it. Um. A good strong Megan episode. It's gonna be the Halloween one. I'm gonna go Halloween. <laughs> um, Christmas was just as good, but I think Halloween Didn't we cut like 20 minutes out of it. No, no, I think we should have cut 20 minutes out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go Halloween. Uh, I don't know what what, what number was Halloween. Uh, let's, dead air, dead air, dead air. let's see that's christmas i don't know i lost track of it that was way off like 22 22 yeah um that one had kelly in the back uh with sophie um, I always like it when Kelly uh, hangs out and listens. I always like when Sophie's here. Yeah. And she's 
Um, I know Kelly doesn't like to to get on the on the hard mic, but always fun to to hear her input from the side. Reminds me sometimes of like when I forget shit. All right, what you got? Uh, very random day. That one wasn't bad. That was a very random day. Hang on. Oh man, that Liam on the run, I think, is the the kicker, dude. The steal of the draft. Oh, I kept it in the ball. That was the one. That's a that's a good. That's as a number three pick. Sixth overall pick was Liam. That Martin. was like you haven't laughed like that in a lot of episodes, and that one was there was moments in that one. You had your blankie. You want you were going to borrow another ten? Oh, that was that's a that's a solid pick, dude. Uh, and a very random day, it just like uh, like I said, I got like it tells a story. I mean, well, we bought an airsoft gun, played darts all day, all day, all day. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. I'm gonna go episode six. Was that my mom? No. The open house. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like you just like that one because of like, I don't know. We, how many episodes did we record that day? FYI, three to four. Because we also did. Uh, we did the, the two. We did the one with me and you in the house, and then JJ, and then the two tier lists. We did the, the two tier lists that we no have- one's ever. <laughs> Recorded those back in like you should post it out of nowhere and then people just think my voice is like just went back. Oh there are two episodes in the vault that I've never used. Um I think that was it was a fun episode because it was fun to kind of have like everybody we had 15 people in this house. Um yeah, I think it was just a it was a big episode. It let everybody know that we were legit. Like, if not legit, like that Ben spent a bunch of money on recorders and microphones. Um, I just liked it. Everybody seemed to have a lot of fun. Um, I did go back um, and listen to between the episodes. Remember, uh, we had the mics live, and you talked to the twins, Sandy, Nikki, and uh, we had all those little interviews, like a whole 45 minutes of them. I pulled those to see if I can fix it. Uh, because the, the sound was a little bit wonky because we were still in our infancy <laughs> trying to figure out how the, the audio worked. Um, but I'm going to see if I can put those together and then I'm going to release little snippets of those. Okay, I think this is the biggest steal. Okay. Besides Liam on the run, I'm going episode 37, part three. Um, Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. It's, it's a good episode. It's not as good as an open house. We met Brian Johnson, dude. Oh shit, we did meet Brian Johnson. Um I'm gonna recap. Okay, boomer. Because it had the best it had the best lap I've had in my life up to that point. Um enough that I start hashtagging all of my favorite all my biggest laps. Oh my god, I started in 50 minutes. I know. <laughs> uh but episode two does uh all my big laughs, I, I, I hashtag as parquet laughs. Mother's Day. Whatever 34 was again. Shit, hold on. What was it? Oh, man, I just had it. Um, <coughs> your kitchen. Yes, my life, my life. You know your pics, dude. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Halloween. In open house. Those are solid picks. Look at mine. Mine's a super team. But look, mine covers the mine. entire year. I got episodes from the first two months. Then I got one, I got a couple in the middle and one on the back end. Mine's mine's I'm the dream team. I'm J- Jordan, Pippin, Bird, All and right. Magic. All right, give me a recap of yours again. I got my new best friend. That was towards the beginning. Okay. And I have Lindsay Strange. I got a more serious. All right. So I got the the laughed a lot and then the serious. Then I got a good, a great game of Liam on the run. And then 
No, seriously, that's the one that's going to decide the whole thing. And yep. a very random day. And last stop in Tesdu Town, because 37 was a big episode for us. 37 was a huge episode. That was a lot of fun. Episodes. That is a good list, but oh, man. No, my super team. Without No. If you took Lamb on the run off of that, it's garbage. It's complete. It's a mess. It's, oh. it's a it's a it's a it's an okay fan list. Lamb on the run makes it an amazing list. Mine is solid all the way through, though. All right, everybody. No, it's not. Um, in the comments, in the chats, if you're listening to this on YouTube, um, comment whimsy Liam if you like his list better, or whimsy Ben. If you like Ben's list better, um, also in the chats on any of the podcast uh, sites, um, or you can shoot us an email. Let us know what you guys. Uh, yeah, you can shoot us an email, whimsy at chasingthewhimsy dot com, and um, let me know what your fives would be, and I would be happy to put your. You email me your five episodes. I will put it on a live stream, and I'll go over it deep dive with it with it with it so um My list is better let us know all right we wanted this one to go a little bit long because this is the best of episode guys you guys have already stuck it out this long what's a little bit longer i have some clips that we're gonna play and we're gonna see if liam can name the episode the title and what it was about all right, here you go. Ready, Ray Lamb? Mm-hmm. I might have broke it, but we'll let him tell you what that means, what he had to do to get to second place. And uh, You'll he's gone that. next week for spring break. So it's going to be two weeks before you guys hear any of the uh, the wrestling stuff. But he did fantastic, super proud of him. And uh, he just straight killed it. So he will definitely be back in two weeks for. Uh, wrestling and spring break vacation updates. Um, I did talk to him and he confirmed that, yes, he would give us a a full breakdown of wrestling and vacation. Uh, I don't now, think there's ever a breakdown. Now, what's weird about that is... Do you have any idea what it is? Episode 51. It was right before Liam on the run. It was not. It's episode 41. Oh. It was Encounters in the Alley. So here's a little behind the scenes, because that sounds weird. It doesn't sound like you're on the episode, but you are on the episode. It was you were watching TV or something. You're like, Dad, you can go ahead and start without me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to talk like you already here. And then when we got into, uh, do you remember what the episode was about? Homeless people. Yes. And then you came out and we talked about the homeless people. Homeless. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, that's a weird clip, and I, uh, I, put, I get a point. I got, no, you, I said, guess, you said fifty-one. I got the uh, description of it. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. I'll give you the description point. Good and job. oh, you shouldn't. You said the episode name too. You like like you were gonna know the name of the I episode. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's a little bit weird, but I wanted it in there because I wanted to show that I supported you in your wrestling. So <laughs> I wanted it out there that I was supportive the whole time you were just, you were dogging me. Uh, all right. Um, I didn't set this up like I do the live stream, so I don't have any color changes. Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on. What's your favorite? Th- okay. Ready? Here's the next one. Thing and your worst thing about playing darts hitting the triple 20 and hitting one, two, and three. <laughs> we both we both had turns where we hit seven total, yeah, one, two, three. That's what we hit. Oh man, and then like triple one, like we were playing to 301, and then we're like, all right, here we go. We're like one, and we're like, all right, then we're like three, <laughs> then we're like five, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's how we win games. And then we get all the way down to like five. And what do we hit every time we're like triple 20, <laughs> triple 16, <laughs> triple 19? <laughs> oh my God. It was so much fun. It was so rad. It was so much fun. 
Easy. Three pointer. Um, a very random day. Oh, not three, because I don't know the episode number. Do I? This is this is in the fifties. A very random day. We talked about our day. Uh, how we've gotten our soft gun. Um, so that's already two points. Okay. I'm gonna guess fifty-one two in a row. Fifty-one two in a row. Yeah. Fifty-one. It is. Yep. That's Sorry. so junky. No, it's not. I know my stuff. <laughs> We're gonna do this again in a couple of weeks, and I'll do all the episodes that you weren't on. <laughs> uh, no, good job, man. Good job. All right, here we go. Random order. And you're like, this is the strongest Pokemon out there. <laughs> I'm like, I don't read anything to save my life, but I get into Pokemon Go. I, I'm like, I'm subscribed to like six websites i'm getting emails i'm researching like what pokemon's coming out when i'm checking stats like like the way that liam's going to do fantasy football i did times 10 in pokemon go times 20 i don't even i'm not even gonna and then i didn't even bother looking up anything because i'd just ask you and you'd have it (laughs) (laughs) i don't need the internet i got ben that i thought it wasn't pika pika because I, I didn't hear Corny, and I'm like, ah, I'm going to lose three points here. But that is episode 13, Pika Pika. We had talked about our adventures and encounters with Pokemon Go. Two-pointer. It's episode 10. Okay. Uh, that was a fun episode. All right, here we go. You ready for the next one? How, much, how many points do I have? I don't know. Um, six plus 11. 17. Yeah. All right. All right. So, it, like, it was this idea of pickleball in the driveway. <laughs> and to make it ultimate, we just make this the arbitrary rules to kind of handicap or make the other person at a disadvantage. <laughs> and we would just back and forth and we would stack different rules. Like, it was so weird. Um, but I think there was something there. I think if we kind of, like... Ironed out like appropriate rules of like uh, we had one one rule that was like uh, oh we we can allow double bounces <laughs> or you have to there was a mandatory one bounce so uh, it's kind of like I don't think you've ever done it uh, in bowling they have a, a forty frame game and what they do it's one game it's all forty game uh, forty f- okay what you got. This one's kind of a weird one. To be fair, like, I didn't have a super lot of time to put all this together, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. We got some good clips so far. Uh, It's like Pickleball Madness. That would be the name of the short, yeah. Uh, Episode 28. Okay. And uh, It was kind of a random episode. I feel like, because I think that was the day when we talked about the, like, the drive you have and what it takes to be a wrestler. Okay. And I think it was something like what it takes to be a wrestler or, like. I'll give you your two points. Uh, Heart of a Wrestler, the title. Uh, You came back, hung out. What does it take to be a wrestler? Yes. Why did I get the third point? Well, because you didn't have the title. Oh. Your title, well, I'll give it, no, nah, I cut you off a little early. I guess I should have asked you to clarify if you were talking about the title or the description. Oh. All right, I'm going to give you a three-pointer on that one. That was my bad. 20 points. That was my bad. Here we go. So here's the next one. There's a lot of these guys. Buckle up. We're going to be here a minute. We're going. Frames. Ooh, I like picks. So, so here's my idea, right. right? So, since you're gonna give out all these tokens, right? Right. There's a QR code on the back, right? And right. the QR code takes you maybe to like, to, to our main our website. Or or Instagram. Or Instagram, right? Okay. And then, it's like maybe an Instagram thing where it's it's called Picks the Gnome, right? Right. Since we're handing all these out, 
maybe you go around like say you go to a trip to like New York for for, okay. for an answer example. Say you go right next to Statue of Liberty. You pull out your phone. You take you take your gnome, and then you tag us. So you, so we're gonna have a bunch of these gnomes out there, and everybody just takes pictures of picks, picks the gnome. Picks the gnome. In different locations. Oh, I love. So we have a gnome, right? <laughs> <laughs> I that, I don't I have no clue on that one because um, when did we, we we okay one? Let me just throw this out there, everybody. A little a little behind the scenes. That's my fucking idea. Was picks the gnome, and does Liam? No, oh, I did that on the episode. <laughs> There's no proof of you saying that. There may or may not have been a large group of people here hanging out in which we had to get some advice if QR codes were still a thing or not. Is this the origin story? You know the first half of that of that title? If you're listening. Oh, nice. That's sick. That's sick. Ah, your ring. Uh, what episode number? 14. That was the open house. I know, 14. Six. <laughs> I'll give you the two points because you knew it was the open house. Uh-huh. And I knew it. Was. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, here's where we start. Right. Oh, I think we've, I messed up on the point system here because I think you got some easies coming. Indie film. So while I, I haven't been on a Marvel or Star, or Star oh. Wars set yet, yet. Uh, I've seen some of Kevin's bigger productions. Uh, I've been a couple of big film sets and uh, you know, the larger ones are definitely chaotic. You know, there's like 200 crew people running around and you know, it's, 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 it's chaotic. And um, it's, uh, there, there seems to be a lot of, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, you know, we gotta get the, sh- we gotta get the shot. Everyone's gotta do this. Uh, it's also a lot of waiting around and, you know, they're waiting for lighting and, and there are a lot of setups while in indie film, you don't have time or or budget to mess around so um for something like kevin says uh you know you're, you're there and uh you know you may t- do a couple takes as like okay we got it let's move on uh but what i really love about kevin sets is very very fun it's very laid back it's okay this was an easy one so i'm gonna make you go to the full title a sh- a in a shared universe what episode number? 37. Which part? Two. Okay. All the 37 episodes had a theme in their title. What was it? Oh, what we had to do with them. Okay. So what about a shared universe? So what was the beginning of the title? Stop. A, take it a stop. Like something like that. Because... We were driving through town because I remember uh, Brian Johnson's is a last stop. Right. Um, TESD has a shared universe. You're not going to give it to me, are you? I'm not going to give you that one because that was too easy, but I'll give you the two for it. And we talked about it was a Ming interview. Yeah. It was a good interview. I liked it. Uh, it was fun to have Ming back on. That's not, that's not even our first interview with Ming. I mean, there's a... A hidden episode one. zero. When should I put out episode zero? Never. Oh, never. You hear that, guys? Sorry. Deleted. No, no. <laughs> not delete. uh, ready, ready for the next one? He did me dirty. I don't know who else. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Now I got to figure out where my, my next pick is going. Oh, that's so junky. Who else do I take? I mean, they're all, everybody's still on the table, still wildly, you know, uh, good for this. But I'm just surprised that my my son fucking stabbed me in the back. (laughs) (laughs) I just love how, like, the, like, my favorite part about some of these is like the the last two seconds is like the the punchline that's like oh that's so good. All right. So what so what episode did you no, stab me in the back? Uh, 
You want any guesses? Episode 45. Oh, you were close. It was 44. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, no way! Yeah. Oh, okay. What were we doing in the 40s? It was a trilogy. Oh, uh, Henry Stickman. We talked about that. I'm not going to get the three points, the two points here, so... Um, what was... Okay, so what were the three Stickman episodes? Yeah, the first one was The Lone Sharks. Okay. The second one was what sneaking a friend in. Okay. And the third one what do I get is two, three actually. So which one is it? This the first, second, or third one? So you got your one point four. Um I'm trying to think. Okay, we got yeah, sorry. Um, like Liam Stickman versus like something. I don't remember. Okay, but but we know he was trying to break someone into the house. Mm -hmm. I'll just I'll take the one. Liam Stickman versus the screen, because for whatever reason you were. Like insistent, like the whole first half of that episode, you're like, I'm gonna cut the screen off. I'm like, what the like why are you cutting screens off? He's like fun facts. No, uh, no. <laughs> fun fact. It was uh <laughs> I'll end this right now. Uh next one. Hold on. Press play. I, was, I, was, I was trying to find a creative way to, to say it. I'm just no, gonna press play. No, you can't hit play. Oh, I think I messed it up. No, you didn't. You better not have messed it up. That would suck. Grandma would know what that's like because I mess up the live streams all the time. All right, you ready for the next one? Me and him want to go on a train. What's it like? What like what was the train experience? I guess you could say. Well, we rode on the train for a few hours, and I would say you should definitely upgrade to like the business class. It's like ten dollars more. It was super cheap. But then they give you like snacks for free and I'm all about free snacks and free wine. <laughs> anyway, it was really nice, but the sleeping car, I think you should really book that in advance because I don't mean to be bougie about it, but I don't know about a community bathroom. It was pretty gross by the end of eight hours. What, is that, what does that mean? So you guys like have your own sleep car, but then you help share like the bathroom down the hall? Yes. That's, don't they do that in Europe? Like some of like. Well, that's the, where we were. No, no, but that's on the train. But so like I get like so in like Europe they have like hotels and like some hotels have like a communal bathroom. You're gonna go New Orleans. Okay. Anti McFoodie Part One, Episode Seven, or si it's Episode Six. No. Okay, wait. Part One or Part Two? Part One, because Part Two we talked about you siblings. Okay, so what was Part One about? Part one was about um, her vacation life okay. and uh, so her love got, for food. You got two. Um, I remember her talking about uh, wine. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, chimichangas and stuff like that. And then episode six. Episode four. Six was the open house. So you got your two points. That's disappointing. That was disappointing. Got them. All right, here we go. This one's This one's a good one. So it's going to be the Ravens and the Saints in the Super Bowl. I got the Ravens winning 30, 32 to 19. Okay. 32? How do you get to 32? <laughs> no, no, not 32. Hang on. 30. 20, 28. Oh, okay, okay. 28 is a little bit better. Because 28 is what? Four touchdowns? Mm-hmm. I think, uh... All right. What was that? That is, I think it was just called Super Bowl Predictions was the episode. No, that was the, the name of the, the short. Oh. Uh, you did Super Bowl Predictions on what episode, though? I, I think that that was also a wrestling one because it was during winter time, And that was coming back off of my um, two weeks with Stringle to High Schoolers. And there's the, uh, the Heart of a Wrestler. And then you have the other one, which is, uh, was it Inside the Takedown? Right. What did we talk about that on that episode? The beginning oh, of that. The point, like the points yeah. and stuff. Um, 
that's inside the takedown. I'm going to say episode 28. Episode 9. Way early. Um, to be fair, the takedown was a, was was up there too. So, all right, we'll give you your, your two points. All right, you ready for the next one? Um, yes. This one just happened. Nope, maybe not. All right, here we go. Oh, Ooh, we're getting close. You hear all the fireworks outside. So, um, for 2023, again, thanks everybody for hanging out, supporting us, doing your thing. Uh, while we do our silly podcast thing, we're going to be diving more into the YouTube stuff next year. So, um, it's a really fun experience so far and we're all having a good time and I'm glad that you're all here to experience it with us. So I'm going to go ahead and whimsy the last time for 2023 and I'll see you guys. Don't go anywhere. Just keep listening, but keep hanging out and uh, I'll see you guys in the new year. Whimsy. Okay. This was one of the episodes that you were not on. Uh, this is a, uh... Old Man's 2023 wrap up, episode 31, and, and I can, it kind of says it in the title. Uh, you were just kind of saying uh, uh, what you enjoyed about this year, and uh, what was the title again? Old you said man's... it. You said it fast, but you knew it was an old man episode. Old man gets like no, it's it's the old man wrap up. Okay. All right. Episode 31, Old Man's, um, what's it called? 2023 wrap up. Okay. Let me double check it because I. Oh, did you, did you get it wrong? I No, I don't think it's the wrap up because I think the. I think we did an episode with. It 100% is. I nailed it too. Wait, hold on. What was episode 32? What was episode 32? Which one was 32? For me, even though it's, you know, it's not millions, like... Uh, this is episode 31. Okay, so what's 32 look like? You're like, like this possible I wrote these wrong, which is fine. Okay, hold on. 32 was Old Man Gets Last and First Whimsy. Because we have the wrap-up towards the end of the year, and then I did one for New Year's Eve. Episode 32, suck it. What is your deal? <laughs> I'm going to fight you. I'm mad right now. I'm going to fight you. I had everything nailed, too. Uh, like, the wrap-up, it makes sense. It sounds like a wrap-up episode. 100%. But it was all, Old Man's first and last whimsy. And I nailed it, too. No. I had the episode number and everything. Uh, I'm going to give you a one point, because I'm pretty sure I did some wrap-up shit on that one. Oh, that's so good. All right, ready for the next one? But no, I definitely cook a lot. Um, Cause like we come over and like, like, you always have some new recipe. Yeah, you're always like. Oh, I never like. I try never to do the same recipe twice because I get bored really easily. Right. Um, theme of my so that existence. Like, like, we come over and she's like, "What do you guys want?" We're like, "Oh, whatever." And then she's like, "What do you guys like?" Meatball. And then she go, and she goes online and she's got her pen and paper out. And she's writing notes and then she goes to the store for like an hour and a half and she's <laughs> yeah. getting all the ingredients and stuff and then she's mixing it all up and doing her thing. It's it's fun watching her cook. You sit and watch and hang out when she's cooking. Yeah. So it's always kind of fun to watch her just do her thing and then you. And guys... it's so hard to cook for you two because you are the most picky people I have ever met in my whole life until I met Sophie, obviously. Right. But. <laughs> Y'all are grown, <laughs> but you won't eat anything that's, like, green color. All right, what do you got? Name of the episode. The Twin Lamb Likes More episode. It's either, it's either 18 or 19, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say episode 19. Okay. And it was Megan's interview. And we talked about, like I said, cooking uh the like the us playing video games together a lot of that stuff i'll give it to you it was the twin that likes liam more because she doesn't like me she likes you more 
So, oh, so, so you're gonna give me the three? I'll give you the three. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, as long as you get close, because some because like when I come up with a title, like sometimes I'm like we're all over the place. So, all right, here we go. Next one. So I used to go. My sister used to take me to uh, <laughs> wrestling events at high schools. Um, my other sister, so I have two older sisters, and my older sister Carol would always taunt me and uh, inform me that it was fake. She nope. liked to crush my dreams <laughs> as a child. Um, and then when I went to see them at local, like high schools, I came to the realization that she wasn't lying about it being fake because I realized they weren't actually hitting each other. Um, but I'm okay with that. I call, uh, to me, wrestling is like a, it's like a guy's vert and, and women like it too, but it's like a soap opera, you know? Yeah, but the women like it for a completely yeah. different reason. Correct, correct. Ooh, they're like, they're like correct. look at that schlub and look at that man. Are they short filmed? Gosh. Yeah, short filmed. Okay, sorry. Uh, what was that last one? Uh, episode 16. Okay. Dad's new best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and, then, and then we talked about a um, bunch of New Jersey stories, fantasy football, and his weight loss. Perfect. All right. There we go. Next one. Two very short films. Uh, one of them me? has the what? Can we see that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, one of them has the distinction of being the only film, well, that I know of, the, the first film banned from uh, Pro Utah First Night Film Festival for content because uh, it involved death that they felt wasn't family friendly. And, you know, when we submitted it, it was funny because we submitted the movie and they, there were multiple people that reviewed it and were like, this is great. This, this is, you know, this will be fine. And then the day of the festival, you know, all, family was already coming in to see it and things like that. We get the call where they're like, yeah, um, we can't show the movie because it's not family friendly. Like, yeah, okay. So, so there's that. But All right. What do we got? Episode 37, part one, Chase Sarge welcomes us to Tennessee Town. What did we talk about? <laughs> All right, you got your three points. I Like when I was, I, I came up with these and then I was like, the scoring system would be cool. And then I completely spaced that some of these were like easy gibbies. Easy gibbies, is that a real thing? But it is what it is. So I'm getting that. That's the closest I ever got to screening it for a real audience. Oops. And then we made forts. We took over the entire kitchen and every sheet and blanket possible and every uh, chair in the house and we made forts. I don't know what we did. We just sat in there, I guess. Like like in the summers, it was just always like, mom would be like, here's $10 if you guys go to the store. And then we would just like... A pack of... What would you say? A pack of sodas and... Um, we would get candy, some and sodas, a and a movie. movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they used to have what is called a dollar theater, which means it only costs a dollar to go to see a yes. movie. Uh, Anti McFoodie Part 2, episode. Uh, gosh. What was what episode number? If she was episode four, then she's episode yes. that was five. Yes. Because, and you guys talked about um, what it was like being a kid and you guys, what you guys used to do. Uh, and a dollar theater, surprisingly, only costed a dollar. Only a dollar. There we go. Uh, you guys have a great New Year's. Be safe. Um, you bear, uh, I was going to say, you can't be listening to this while you're driving home. But, uh, yeah, hey, you know, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Whimsy. Like, but this, this is a repeat, right? Yes. This one's, which one was it? Don't give me points for this one. Okay. This was Whimsy's first and last, and then obviously yeah. the same episode number. Um, because this was the only time I think like this is the like the time where you're like I'm surprised he actually listened. Like the first like. Well, can you accuse me of sounding depressed? <laughs> you no. sounded depressed. No, sounded sad. No, what's funny was, I wasn't depressed, maybe tired, but listening to it now, definitely not the energy that I have from like when I like, I have forty. I have like a, I got like a, a almost fifty live streams. And I'm uppity on all these. And if for whatever reason, New Year's rolls around, I'm like, I can't be happy. I can't be like, hey guys. I sounded, yeah. Hey guys, thanks. Uh, super happy and having a lot of fun here, guys. 
Oh man, I definitely did sound emo y. Careful, don't hit that plug. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, here we go. I just wanted the first and last whimsy in here. Here we go. No, last, next one. Main Girls is a good movie. That's a, a while. It's like, it's definitely like cult. Uh, and it's definitely, it, like, it's still relevant today. Absolutely. Some of the, some of the, the lingo they use is a little bit different because, like, obviously, Liam and, and I kind of talked about the differences in how lingo changes over the years, but just the the way that kids act. I... Okay, what do you got? Uh, this was like a... Whose episode is it? My mom's and David's, right? No. No, it was different lady. Same time frame, though. Chip. Uh, I, I can't go back. I can't. I, I wish I could go back, but I can't go back. Uh, we oh, talk- it was a girl. She sounded like really sweet. I heard either Rhiannon. Rhiannon's a little bit loud, though. Or, okay. I was thinking Rhiannon, Nikki, or uh, Sandy. Okay. I'm going to go uh, Sandy, and her only episode is 18. Do you have any idea what the episode name is? It was her birthday, and she turned 42. And I think it was something like positive something, something look into 42. Yeah, she was all about the positivity because she, that's one of the things she wanted to focus on was being more positive. And, uh, but yes, you were correct. Right, here we go. This one's probably an easy one, too. I also went to another camp for one whole week with no parents, Camp, uh, camp Skyway. Is that the first time you've ever been away from your parents for a week? Yes. Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> Want to do it again? Yes. Oh, yeah, it was great. Okay. Great. All right. Um, we did, um, they did have archery there, but they said I wasn't old enough, which is rude because I already did it. <laughs> Okay. You should and have been I, like, I got a card from the last camp. Uh, rude. Right? You're like, last but, camp, they, trust me. Just just give it to me. I'll be okay. I'm experienced. <laughs> yeah. Um, what we did do slingshot. Okay. Now, you, the, you, you had a problem with JJ when we did the uh, the guest quiz in the beginning. You know, it was like, somehow you came up with all the Yellowstones and came up with like nine episodes. So, JJ only had three episodes. This is an easy episode number. Um, it's uh, not number. Um, episode. Uh, hang on. Yes. My cousin JJ. Yep. We talked about um, what he does, like how how he's doing, like what he's gonna do in school. Uh-huh. How old is he? What? Yeah, you know the okay. normal interview questions. And since he opened house, it was episode six. I do not believe it is episode seven. Because episodes, because I remember us talking about storing JJ's episode. Nice. You remember that shit? Uh huh. And I think JJ was episode eight. Uh, to be fair, I never would have remembered that. Uh, to me, because to me that didn't make any sense to me. Like why? Why? Because we did record it on open house. We did hold it back. You are correct. There we go. Next one. Dad, Dad, build me out. Can I get another 10? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what Florida looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I meant to say is, like, I can do it. Besides, like, I'm going to get my legs broken. Like, I can steal a friend's car. No. Like when I'm 16, I will have a car. I don't okay. think my mom will let me drive to Montana. Uh, not by yourself, but like, like if I had the girlfriend with me. Yeah, maybe like 16 and a half, close to 17. Like definitely not that that first two months. I don't think we're gonna Obviously. be like drive, just drive out of state wherever you want. Obviously, but that that that. <laughs> I just like the idea of like that paid it off. What? Oh, we... uh, that was. That was... That was one of my favorite moments. <laughs> Didn't we call Rhiannon? We did. But it wasn't on that episode number. I wonder if I gave her credit for that call-in. Because I also... I need to double-check because we also called your mom. Didn't we? I 
baby set. Yeah, uh, the same trilogy. Uh huh. So what is this one? This oh, obviously you said Liam on the Run. Uh. No, I'm just gonna give you that one because that was on your your pick of your draft picks. Uh, yeah. Someone help me out real quick. See, remind me that we called. We did call Rhiannon. Would we call her on the live stream? Yes. I don't know. Nope. I think I have my 40s and 50s mixed up. Yeah. Because I think I was going to say 52, but it might be 42. Episode is Liam on the run. What was your draft pick, man? What number, look at your draft card. I threw it. Well, well, you missed the point. It's 43, fool. Uh, fool? Yeah. You, you wouldn't have gotten it. You'd be surprised how many of these I get. What do you like about Jason? He has the best kills out of this whole list. You think he has the best he has kills? The best kills out of this whole list. I mean, he definitely has a lot of creative kills, and I feel like a like cool mystique about him, like being oh. camp and all that stuff, and drowned. We have chicks on this list. I don't know what I'm talking about, but for best kills. Oh, oh, they're almost two different, like two yeah. different games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because the saw was all about the special kills. Yeah. Everything was circling around that like how that you're going to get killed by your own hand basically right. which is kind of silly cuz <laughs> but Jason was like I'm in this situation I need to use what I have very creative <laughs> and he he made a good leap into like the jump the shark territory where he became kind of funny but also right still scary all right what do you got for that one I want uh, I think this is just a simple title name I think we straight up just went chasing the Lindsay Halloween special. Um, this was episode 22, and we talked about um, our favorite uh, candy to get trick or treating, um, our favorite Halloween movies, uh, and I think our favorite costumes. All right. I'm going to give you two because you put the caveat that says it was an easy title. It was Chasing the Ween, a, ho- uh, a Halloween episode. Okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't simple. You can see. <laughs> all right there we go so scenario one from two weeks ago you're stealing cars and you're driving across country you don't tell anybody but this one the first thing you do is you wuss out and call the cops and go downstairs and talk to the front desk so i'm gonna henry stickman it it's 10 o'clock you wake up you don't even notice that they're gone until like one o'clock so you're just like, you're up and you're just hanging out. You take a shower, you go downstairs, get some food. And then you realize like, where's everybody? All right, what you got? I think that's part three of the trilogy. So what was, what number would that be? Do the math. Because we did three weeks in a row, right? Yeah. Do you remember which one? This- Episode 40. <laughs> um, um, like the confidence of like 40 nailed it <laughs> give me like three points Lindsay on the run was 44 right I don't know you tell me oh you jerk <laughs> tell me just tell me no because then he's going to go plus three plus it's, it's on your card Four, 43 episode 40 Episode 45, right? <laughs> yeah. You wanted to go plus three and go from three to six. Yeah. Um, and we talked about like a Home Alone 2 situation. Okay. What's yeah. the name of the episode? There's Lame on the Run, then there's Random Stickman, and then, right? Uh huh. And then the other one that you did with uh, where you fucking lost your mind because you thought I was going to say something that was going to like call you out. Oh, so this is the random scene. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, this one is a, uh, there's a Tuesday. So I'm going to play them both back to back. And then you tell me what episode it was. This one just happened to work out to go back to back. Kelly says Edward Scissorhands is a Christmas movie. Never seen that movie. And I, it's like, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. It happens during Christmas. Oh my gosh. Nope. Vetoed. Uh, the, the, um, the main people when, here vetoed it. When she comes on to the podcast, we will we will let Edward Scissorhands back in. Well, 
I'll see. Ghostbusters now this. A designer, like a, a, a department store was like, how do we get more people in here coloring books? Coloring books during Christmas. Oh, whimsy. We get not, not <laughs> ending. <laughs> <laughs> not ending, the, but like, like we, we got a hat. We can make it a, a Christmassy hat. And then, like, we can get coloring books, and then we just end could be, that. <laughs> we could be in a, we could be in a movie with Rudolph. Be like, hey, man, it's been sixty years. I'm the new guy, Whimsy. <laughs> Whimsy, the gnome. He's like, do you do anything special? I make, I hang out in pockets. Oh, I Boom! Do. Look at that. Like the advisor to Santa, be like in the pocket, and he's just like, hey, he, maybe he's the one that reads the list. Like, I... it was something like a. Uh... Whimsy Claus is coming to town. All right, close enough. And we talked about Christmas. That was episodes. the numbers. And, um, well, if Old Man's wrap up was 30, then this has got to be, uh, what? <laughs> I think I flipped it. <laughs> I think this is episode 30. <laughs> with my mom when uh when she would come home she would work at a nursing home she worked a three to eleven shift and there was this uh sort of like a chiller theater type uh show on where they had horror movies on at like you know midnight so i she would come home i would come upstairs we'd watch horror movies together so that's kind of what got me into the genre and then uh from there it was just a matter of like you know just liking to make up stories you know just fr- as a kid all right, this one's a given. All right, there's three more. Oh, sorry. Um, this is episode 37. Um, a last last stop at Tesdy Town. Yep. And that was it. And then we talked about um, uh, podcasting with Tesdy. Uh, I think we talked about some of his uh comic book work and his mm-hmm. um stuff he's done, like like his like Scholastic. Yeah. Well, that was from his open. All right. There's three more. Okay. I'm going to say you have to get all three points. And if you, if you don't, I'm going to subtract points from your total from the other 25 of these that we've just did. Okay. I, I think you're way over 50. So I'm going to try and get you knocked down below 50. All right. Ready? Here we go. But what's happening is they don't need us now as writers. It blows up. It's Game of Thrones. Now HBO like makes all the money. So like Jay and Silent Bob, like they take, they're like, wait, so if they buy it, do we, are we no longer allowed to use Chasing the Whimsy name? No, because we sold it. Now what's interesting is because in, in it, the second part of the, the strike is AI. They got crazy deep fakes of like Robert Downey Jr., um, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, who else is that guy? Hulk. Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mm-hmm. So they're all this deep fake. Okay. Um, episode three, Dark Side of Hollywood. We talked about the red strike that was going on. Uh, the funniest thing about that episode, and I'll, I'll pull it out. The way the episode started, you went fucking crazy off on something else. Like we had it written down, I had it outlined, and you went somewhere completely different. And I had to cut out like 11 minutes of the first part of this episode because it didn't work at all. And I don't remember what it was about. Oh, Oh, I don't have my book. Oh. Yeah, I, all I know is I was wildly irritated with you because you were just like, you went rogue. <laughs> no idea what you were talking about. But yes, you are correct. 
Great technology. I was at school and I decided to use grab scissors and cut my hair during class. And then uh, like some serial killer stuff. It was an uneven job. The <laughs> job was uneven. And then he was talking to me, and he was like, "So he gets the phone call that you need to come get your kid." No, 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 no I sir. picked him up from school. Oh, and he got in the car, <laughs> and I thought his hair was just messed up. My, and then I'm like, "Oh my god!" My excuse was that I was laying my head on a bench, and I think some kid snuck up. Behind no, he's me. yeah. He said some girl, like a like he didn't even admit that it was he, him that did it. He said like a girl cut it or something. And then then we got home and we tried to fix it. Made it and worse. It slowly, like we, you know, cut a little and then we tried to fix it. And Katie kind of had it okay. And then she, I, ended up I came and then it ended up just being all, all gone. Well, you know what the problem was with that whole day too, is that was actually the day my dad had surgery. So. Okay. Uh, playground rhymes. Yep. We talked about, um, uh, playground like stuff that was going on. Like you're not going on, but like the games right. and some of like the rhymes that were um, happening in episode 17. Yes. All right. Is there any chance I get you go double or nothing? You oh. lose all your points on this last one. You don't even know what it is. That you, you put all your points on the line on the last one. I'm a whims- I'm a whimsical guy. Double or nothing. Dang it. I don't know. All right, this is the hardest one you probably will do. Okay. The, 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 Play the thing. The hardest one. Oh, butter. Butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> butter. Okay. It it says on there. <laughs> Girl, I like the parquet. <laughs> you guys can Google that one too. It's little. <laughs> It was butter that it was basically like, hey, I'm still butter, parquet. <laughs> oh man. It's, it's just on here that it's just practically <laughs> uncool. You guys can Google commercials. <laughs> <laughs> commercials are played in between <laughs> in picks of television shows. <laughs> No, cut, cut. So, <laughs> oh my god, so <laughs> whimsy. I just like the idea that we're gonna put this out. <laughs> People are gonna be like, "Oh my god, I know that guy." <laughs> oh man, that uh, that still makes me laugh to this day. Okay, boomer, episode two. Oh god, that was such a fun episode. Oh my god, I was editing this thing this morning. And I have like eight versions of this clip. And I and like I have just the parquet. I have just the laugh. I actually there's a YouTube short that I'm about to post. Uh oh, it wasn't of this one. Oh god. That was such a funny episode. Fun fact. The only episode that doesn't have a, a an opening. There is no Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of... I told you that today. Did you? Yeah. Shit, I didn't pay attention. Maybe that's why I thought I ever knew it. Yeah. Um, it was like last... It was like this year, or five this morning. And, yeah. Uh, either. And I was just like, something special about this is there is... A, this was the only non-intro. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to you, clearly. Um, oh, that's so much fun. Uh, you wanted a long episode. I thought this was a nice, uh, a nice nod to all the different guests that we've had. A lot of laughs, a lot of fun that we've had over the last year. Uh, before you whimsy us, you got anything you would like to uh, to say to wrap up your lot, your first year as a podcaster? Uh, I appreciate the support coming from everybody. Uh, to, uh, realize, uh, what's it called? Um, putting their efforts in and making shirts, uh, getting our tokens, Nikki doing and Nikki doing the, uh, the picks all the time. She's great at it. Um, other grandma for excitement, grandma Joyce listening to it, um, in the morning. Um, appreciate JJ doing Yellowstone, uh, adding to the creativity and all that. I appreciate Ming, uh, being a mentor and, uh, 
being with us this entire way. Um, I appreciate uh, Sandy being positive. The same stuff that you said in the beginning. Whimsy. 